ancient future is now. Is now. Welcome to Kim West. I look at Robert Robert in check my heart to them to them next chemist. Today's subject: the word and the power of sound. The use of sound vibration was and still is a method in charging the atmosphere and raising the vibration. It can be used to activate the glands throughout the endocrine system, including the pineal gland, which is the biospiritual receiver. According to the Shabaka Stone, also known as Menefer in physiology, it was Pata who called creation into existence. Pata means opener and shaker. According to the theology of Anu, also known as Heliopolis by the Greeks, it was Ra who brought himself into existence from the blackness of the darkest night. The symbol for Ra is a circle with a dot in the center, aka the black dot if you may. But the actual spelling of Ra in the middle netter, the hieroglyphs, is a fish's mouth and an extended arm. The fish's mouth makes the Ra sound or the R sound and the A makes the A sound. That's because in the beginning, the Creator spoke creation into existence within the heavenly waters while simultaneously shaping it into form. It was Ra who sent from his mouth Shu, He, and Tefnu, moisture. Shu and Tefnu gave birth to Nu, the sky, and Gab, the earth. The word in ancient Kemet was considered sacred. The Greeks called the word the Logo. The purpose was, and still is, the resurrection of the Asar, uh, cross consciousness who initially comes as the living or the living word who was betrayed and murdered yet defeats death. Yeshua, the cross or Christ, returns with the sword. The sword, the S word or the sacred word, is used to defeat the enemies of righteousness and be victorious. To be victorious was to be Makaru, through a voice. The commission priests believe that sound, Pata's divine utterance, is what brought forth creation and holds it together. It is important to speak words of truth, power, and joy, because everything you say is recorded in the energy field around you, and constant slander of self and others will cause obstruction in your personal well-being and achievement. Let us keep in mind that Tahuti is the heart of Pata, and that it was Pata who was said to have invented the Medonetor. The Medonetor is all around us. It teaches us. It communicates with us. Medonetor is a sign and symbol of nature. Man, male and female, has observed these symbols and by mimicking what she or he sees around him and her, she, he comes up with his and her own sounds and symbols and created language. The universe talks to us all the time. All we have to do is read its symbols. Every object is a letter and every group of objects is a word. These are the results of the divine forming energy and matter into uh, shapes of what we recognize as reality. In the story of Asar, we see that he was the father of Haru, yet in the story of Jesus Christ, we see that Asar and Haru are combined within the person of Jesus, Isu, Eshu, Heru, and Christ, Christ, Asar. This is the reason he is made to say, I and the Father are one. The name Haru contains the word, hey and hey, which is a sound vibration for elevation. You find this same word of power in words like heat, heaven, and helios, as well as ashe. Hey means one million, unlimited, as well as eternity in a comedic language. The repetition of the sound hey will raise the energy level of any collective group. It is also the sound of the fire breath used to raise the internal fire and remove toxins from the body. In the Hebrew teachings, you find the four sacred syllables for Jehovah, which is yad heh The priests of African traditions utter sounds that heal, restore order within the mind and body. These sounds of power can harmonize and elevate one's personal vibratory field. The human voice is a powerful musical instrument. It is known that the energy of the human voice, just like any other form of music, affects the mind and body. This is one reason why a pregnant woman should listen to music of an elevated quality as opposed to music filled with explicit lyrics because this will affect her unborn child. With enough Shechem or Ashe, one can shape reality with mastery of the word itself. John Heinz John writes on the Dogon tradition explanation of the creation of power of the word in his book, Wuntu. 
And I quote, The Nomo, said Ogata Mili, is water and heat. The vital force that carries the word issues from the mouth in water vapor, which is both water and word. Thus, Namo is water and the glow of fire and seed and word in one. Nomo, a life force, is the fluid as such, a unity of spiritual physical fluidity, giving life to everything, penetrating everything, and causing everything. Muntu, page 124. To know the name of a deity in ancient Kemet meant that one could command that deity. The Ren, or the name, was considered an important part of existence. To call the name of a person, place, or thing is also to give power to that person, place, or thing. You can also curse a person, place, or thing by knowing the name of that person, place, or thing. So the spelling of Ren is R-N. The R is a fish's mouth and the N is a wave of water or an energy wave. And that's because creation itself has a name and spirit and the Creator called upon the name within the primordial waters. All life on the planet Earth has its origin in water. In fact, the Ankh is a symbol of life representing the harmony of male and female. The glyphs that make up the comedic word is the water wave, mm, and a placenta, K, or C, whatever. Uh, science indicates that the Earth formed 4.5 billion years ago, starting out as a poisonous, non-life-sustaining atmosphere consisting of ammonia, ethane, methane, and hydrogen sulfide. The life germ begins to settle in the vast ocean to be what is known as the primordial soup. And soon, amino acid gave rise to proteins, and these proteins would give birth to life forms. Life forms that would replicate and sustain themselves. Human life begins in the water, and after two weeks of conception, develops into a fish-like creature with gills. And this ain't got shit to do with random selection. All of this is the result of cosmic intelligence. Everything that happens on the earth has its reflection in the heavens. This is your brother, Kepra Batak, with Cam West. I would like to leave you with Shimhotep. Boo to our winter.